This tutorial will demonstrate the rectangular array process. I've got uh, 26 arcs and lines here of this high school desk. I can make rows and columns of copies of all these arcs and lines with the rectangular array icon. Notice it's on a flyout. I'll demonstrate polar array later. Click on the rectangular array icon. As always, command prompt and the dynamic input cursor say select objects. I'll select everything and hit enter. By default, the rectangular array command provides three rows, four columns. You can grip edit these things with all these triangular and square grips. I'll leave that up to you. I want to be more precise than with grip editing, so I'll invoke the columns option. Hit the down arrow, cursor up the columns, hit enter, change it from five to four to say five and hit enter. It immediately asks, well, what space do you want between the columns? Thir almost 31 is the default now. I'll say, yeah, make it 42 and hit enter. Uh, uh, next, I'll hit the down arrow and hit the up arrow until I get to the rows option, hit enter. I'll change the number of rows from 3 to, say, 5 and hit enter. As before, let me just pan and zoom out with the IntelliMouse wheel. As before, it tells me to specify the distance. Right now, it's a little more than 42. I'll reduce it, say, to 38 and hit enter. Hit enter uh, a couple of times until you're back to the type of command prompt. A, polar, a rectangular array is a single object, and you can always grip edit it later. You can rotate it and copy it and just like you would a single object. But uh, what if you want to erase uh, copies of your original 26 arcs and lines out of the center of the array? Well, that can be done by the explode icon here, or the explode um, icon on the modify panel of the home tab. It looks like a, a box with its sides bursting out. <clears throat> click on the explode icon, select the rectangular array with one click or a crossing window, hit enter to uh, tell it you're finished selecting objects, and you've exploded everything. Now you're in back to copies of the 26 arcs and lines of the original high school desk. Hit escape to deselect. I can go in here and individually erase a single desks out of the middle of this rectangular array or rotate them. I can, I can rotate the entire uh, assembly here in the old-fashioned way with rotate command. That's about it. There's a lot more complexity to rectangular arrays. I'll leave that up to you to hit F1 for the help screen. Uh, different different options and capability of the rectangular array. You can even make 3D ar arrays. See you next time.